Hey FlossTube, this is Brian. Welcome back. This is my 26th FlossTube video, and it will be an update of my stitching for the months of January and February 2018. But first of all, I want to welcome you. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you enjoy the things that I have to show you. And also, uh, if, you, if you enjoy the things I have to show you, I hope that you will subscribe to my channel. If you are returning to my channel, thank you so much. I appreciate that you have subscribed, and I thank you for all of your comments and for liking my videos. And I appreciate that you come back and, and watch my videos. I really, uh, I really enjoy interacting with you and, and hearing from you. So the, the past couple of months have been kind of interesting. Uh, Life-wise, they're pretty boring. I mean, we've settled back into the, the old routine. Uh, my daughter is uh, going to school. My, my kids are up in Utah. Uh, going to school as well, and, and we're just uh, living life, living the dream, as they say. Um, as far as stitching goes, it, is also, it has been kind of an interesting, uh, kind of an inter interesting couple of months, and I really don't have a lot to show you, so this is probably going to be a pretty short video. Uh, but first of all, I guess we'll just uh, go into my graphs and talk a little bit about that. That'll show you uh, kind of what's happened. Uh, first of all, here's my stitching trend for the uh, that I always show you, and this includes February, even though uh, February is not quite over, but it'll tell you a story. You'll see that January looked pretty good, and February looks really strange. Uh, there's hardly any stitches put in, although the number of days that I have stitched has has stayed pretty pretty good. And that is because of what I've been doing in February. And we'll talk about that in a little bit later. Um, but one of the things that I do have to celebrate, and part of the reason why I'm making this video, is that I had a finish. So I'm going to show you my whip trend. You'll see that the number of whips that I have has dropped by one. Uh, that's really exciting for me. I'm, I'm glad that, it, that that's happened. So... Uh, this is my first finish for 2018, and also um, the things that have, the thing that has made these couple of months really, uh, really interesting and different for me is I have kind of turned monogamous, and I have only worked on one project since actually since the 26th of December, and um, so uh, and that project is Winter Sampler which is a design by uh, Cooler, Sandy Orton of Cooler Design Studio. Um, as I have been working on this, I've had lots of people ask me on, on Instagram uh, where to get this piece. It used to be available as a kit uh, from Jan Lin. I believe that it's, not, it's kind of hard to find as a kit. But if you go to the Cooler Design Studio, and I will post a link to that below, uh, you can buy this either as a as a chart or as an electronic PDF, and uh, and you and stitch it that way. Um, there have been lots of people who have been interested in that, so go ahead and check that out if you're interested. Um, and I guess I guess we'll start out by actually showing you my finish. Uh, I guess first of all, just to kind of give you a feel as to how much stitching that I've done. I'll insert a picture here of what it looked like the last time you saw it, which was uh, the beginning of January, I think. So I'll insert that here. And as I said, this is I've only been working on this piece, and I finished this a couple of days ago. So uh, here is what it looks like now. So you'll see it's all done. I really like it, and it has it has been a lot of work. Um, if you if you look at it, well, first of all, a couple of statistics. It took me just over 120 days to stitch this, uh, but those 120 days are spread out over almost two years. I started this in on March 1st of 2016. So this has been two years in the making. And, you know, it doesn't really look like it's all that big, but it has turned out to be a really big project. So I'll give you a little bit of a close-up just so that you can see things a little bit closer. 
Um, one of the things that you will probably notice is that there is a lot of backstitch. And actually, uh, when I do my, my slideshow at the end, uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll show a picture of what this looked like before I started backstitching and after I started back, after I finished backstitching so that you can get a feel for how much, how much backstitching this is and how much backstitching changes things. Uh, now, in addition to backstitching, there are a lot of French knots in this piece, uh, th and they're just all over the place. I, I think this piece has the most French knots I've ever done. Uh, there's French knots in those, those yellow uh, French knots in her coat. There's French knots in the, um, the snowflakes in the backstitch. There's French knots in the lace. Uh, all of these snowflakes have French knots in them. And then there's eyes, of course, and there's French knots on each side of the numbers over here. There's just a ton of French knots. And I've been able, I, I can do French knots. Uh, they're not always really consistent, but I've, I've learned doing this piece how to make them more consistent. And if, there's, if, you're, if you're struggling with French knots, I think the best, uh, the best advice that I can give you that I've learned is while you are pulling the thread through to tighten the knot, just take it really slow. That way that keeps the, that keeps the floss from tangling early and knotting early. And it, it makes it so that, the, so that those knots look a, a lot better. But, there we go. Yeah, this is, this is a piece that, that I just love to look at. And, and even now, I, I just want to look at it all the time and, and, and kind of admire what it looks like. So I've had, I think I touched a little bit of a nerve on Instagram while I was sharing my backstitching because uh, 120 of those days working on this, I spent 23 days backstitching. And I think I predicted that it would take me about a month. I was about a week off. It took me about three weeks to backstitch. And when I started backstitching, I, I made some kind of comment like, um, now we'll see how crazy I was for, for keeping the backstitching to the end. And that was, that was kind of tongue in cheek because as I've been working on this, I've had lots of people say, I can't, I can't imagine why you're, why you're waiting till the end to backstitch. And all the way through my backstitching, I had, I had all sorts of comments of, I can't believe you're, you're my backstitch hero. And I can't believe you're, I can't believe that you're, that you've been backstitching this long and that it's taken this long, that kind of stuff. So I, I think I kind of touched a nerve. I don't know. But to tell the truth, I really don't mind backstitching. The, the only thing uh, that this piece was, was kind of giving me problems with is I kind of got tired of it. I mean, Two months has, has a long time to work on one piece for me now. And I was getting tired of it. And I was tempted to set it down, but I was afraid that if I, if I set it down, uh, that I wouldn't pick it up again. So I just pushed on until, until it was finished. And I really liked the result. Um, I've had lots of people um, ask me. Um, so another, another question that I've had several times is, are you going to do the other three uh, samplers? <laughs> my, my wife has even asked me that question. And I have them. Um, and I, I think I am going to do them. I think I'm going to work backwards. I think I'm going the next one that I will do will be fall or autumn, I guess, autumn sampler. Um, and, but I don't know when I'm gonna start it. I, I think I need a little bit of break from this type of a pattern. Um, I don't know. The past couple of days, I kind of had a really bad thought. I don't know if I'll do it. I was like, I could do that for, for Mania. I could, st I could start all three for Mania. <laughs> and that would, be, that would be really manic for me because, um, because the only thing I've ever really done for Mania is I've started a new piece. And, and I don't know. That would be something that would be really crazy. And I don't know if I'll do it, but the thought has, has occurred to me. Anyway, so that's the winter sampler. 
I, I really have enjoyed it. I've, I've enjoyed, I've really enjoyed working on it uh, in spite of all the backstitching. And quite frankly, if I had to do it over again, I think I would do the exact same thing. I mean, it's going to take me 23 days to backstitch, whether I uh, keep it all at the end or if I, or if I did it all the way through. And I just have a hard time uh, switching from uh, cross-stitching to backstitching and cross-stitching again. And also, I, I don't know, I really like being able to compare what a piece looks like uh, before I start backstitching and after to see how much of a difference the backstitching makes. So um, I think I'd do the same thing over again. It, I, that's just the way my mind works. It's the way I roll. So anyway, um, so we'll talk a little bit about my plans. Um, my plans are not really... My plans are not really um, set in stone, but I'm gonna show you what I'm working on now. And I've decided to start working on Let Freedom Ring by uh, Lila Studio. Uh, I'll insert a picture of what it, what it will look like when it's finished here. I forgot, to, I forgot to pull it out to show you, but here it is here. And I'll, I'll also, Insert a picture of what it looked like the last time you saw it. Uh, just, just for completeness, I mean, I don't, I haven't, I've only worked on this for a couple of days. So there's not gonna be a lot of difference uh, from the last time you saw it. And um, actually I pulled out my records uh, when I started working on this and I was shocked. The last time I worked on this was last July. So it has been sitting for seven months, almost eight months. And I, I, uh, I, I kind of feel guilty about that because uh, uh, as you know, there's the, a face group book group uh, where uh, we are all stitching this together. Um, if you have not joined, feel free to join. I'll put a link to the group down below. Um, and I feel guilty because um, I haven't done anything for a very long time. And so I kind of want to, I kind of want to work on this for a little while to get significant progress. Maybe, um, maybe until I finish uh, Independence Hall, I, I don't know. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna stay monogamous either because, because two months is too long to work on one project I've decided. Um, so I may, I don't know, uh, I'm kind of thinking maybe uh, work on this and on something else, uh, you know, like two weeks, two week rotation or something, not, not formal, but just two weeks working on, on two different things. But uh, this is, yeah, this is what this looks like now. So... What I have done is, here, let me put this back behind here. Um, so all that I've done so far is I've stitched this tree and then I started working on the breezeway. Uh, I'm getting close to working on this, on the main building that'll be right here. Uh, the way I'm working is, I, I'm planning on stitching all of this all the way across until I finish uh, the entire Independence Hall and then and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on the motifs that go across the top so uh, So far I have really enjoyed working on this again um, It's been a long time and I have forgotten How how fun this is it's a lot uh, You know, it's it's a lot different from winter sampler uh, There's a lot a lot less confetti and it seems to stitch uh, pretty relatively quickly. Um, and working with the over over dyed floss in here has also been kind of fun as well. So yeah, I'm really enjoying this again. So we'll see how far I get maybe in the next two weeks. And then I might start, I might pull out something else. I don't know. I. I, I've just stopped really making plans. I've kind of, uh, I've kind of, kind of um, working kind of how I want. Um, and in fact, I, I even had a little bit of a hard time deciding to even work on that because 
because I don't know, uh, working on Winter Sampler that long has given me a bit of starditis. Uh, it's made me feel like all my everything everything that I'm working on is stupid, and that I need to start something. But I am right now. I'm being very, very good because I want to get the number of whips that I'm working on. I want to I want to drive that number down a little bit more uh, before I start something. So, I guess we'll see what happens. At any rate, uh, thanks, thanks for watching. Uh, that's about all I have uh, to share with you today. Uh, feel free to comment, uh, to subscribe to my videos if you haven't yet, or to like my videos. Uh, I hope that you have a great month uh, for the month of March, and we will talk to you in about a, about a month. Uh, we'll close out with a slideshow. You can see how uh, my winter sampler has changed over the last couple of months. Uh, and, and at any rate, thank you, and we will talk to you later. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.